Sanjeev Petroda. Uh, this election, as we said, will be over this Sunday. On the 23rd of May, we'll have the result. And if this election, if elections in general are a marathon, this one certainly was, then we are in the last lap, phase seven of polling, the final phase on the 19th of May. Like the sixth phase, this, this phase two will have 59 constituencies. The focus once again will be on the Hindi heartland. 13 seats in Uttar Pradesh, 13 in Punjab, 9 in West Bengal, 8 each in Madhya Pradesh and Bihar, 4 in Himachal Pradesh, that's the entire state, 3 in Jharkhand and 1 in Chandigarh. These are the seats. Some epic battles are due in this phase. Patna Sahib, for instance, it will be watched closely. Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad up against his former party colleague Shatrugan Sinha actor turned politician. He joined the Congress party very recently. He makes a tough challenger for Ravi Shankar Prasad in Patna. Prime Minister Modi is also in the fray this time. He's seeking re-election from Banaras. He's expected to win. Besides Varanasi, Gorakhpur is another significant battle this time. Gorakhpur has remained with the BJP since 1991, almost three decades. It's the political headquarters of the BJP in Uttar Pradesh. But in bi-polls last year, a combined opposition what we call the Gatbandhan, took Gorakhpur. And that alliance is now the major rival of the BJP in the state. The Gatbandhan experiment began with seats like Gorakhpur and Pulpur, and they were slated for the last two phases in this election. Now, here's why this round is critical for the BJP. The party won 33 out of 59 seats in 2014. The BJP's then-alliance partners, the Akali Dal, the RLSP, the JDU and Apna Dal, won another seven seats, so a total of 40 out of 59 for the NDA in 2014 in this phase. In the, on the other hand, the Congress got only three out of these 59 seats. In Bengal, the TMC holds all the nine seats that are on offer in this phase. But in the last five years, a lot has changed in the political scene in these 59 seats. As I said, the Gadbandan is making it a whole different ball game in Uttar Pradesh. In Bihar, the RLSP is now out of the NDA. In Madhya Pradesh, the Congress has seen some sort of revival after last year's assembly election. Even in West Bengal, the battle is unique this time. Traditional pairs, the left and the Congress are nowhere in the picture. It's a referendum on Modi and Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. The vote looks very polarized. As for Himachal Pradesh, the BJP swept the state in 2014. It has four constituencies. The BJP got all. The party is hoping to improve its tally of one in Jharkhand. The Congress uh, will try to up its game in Punjab. That's phase seven for you in a nutshell.